Seconds after taking off, the twin-engine Cessna 310 was in trouble. The plane just took off, and as soon as he took off, he turned an immediate 90-degree turn towards the west, and it sounded like the engine stalled, and it just went down. Karen Irwin and his crew were working on the roof at Tupelo Regional Airport's administration building when the plane slammed into the ground. There was nothing we could do. The, the police and the fire department and all that stuff were starting to come up, and they blocked the road off and made everybody leave. Eyewitnesses say the aircraft clipped at least one pickup truck on Coley Road before plowing into this tree, killing the pilot, 69-year-old David Duncan. Eric Williams had just sent his kids to school and was inside his house across the street from the airport, getting ready for a new day when the unthinkable happened. I heard a loud boom. I thought somebody was kicking in my front door. And uh, I came out and the propeller had hit the front of the house. The plane was registered to Hamilton Air, and according to FlightAware.com, the Cessna was headed from Hamilton, Alabama to Columbus, Georgia. Maintenance work had reportedly been performed on the plane at Tupelo Regional Airport Monday or Tuesday. Officials from the National Transportation Safety Board are on their way. They'll talk to eyewitnesses and sift through every piece of evidence. It could take them several months to a year to find out what caused the plane crash. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.